Welcome back to the video. In the last video, I discussed using um, pandas methods very efficiently by chaining them together versus creating new variables for every transformation. In this video, I'll extend that for custom built methods where perhaps you've built your own function, you wanna apply that to the data frame, but take advantage of that chaining motif that I demonstrated in the last video. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a card at the top and a link in the description. Uh, let's get started. To build your own chains, you can actually take advantage of the pandas pipe method. And it's designed specifically for when you want to build your own functions and chain them together using this object oriented programming approach. And so I've got a small data frame with two columns, A and B, which just have some random numerical values I've assigned to them. And I built two functions. One is called get nth, which will compute the, the value to the nth degree and adds a new column to the data frame. And the other one is get discrete values, which will compute the upper and lower 50 percentile of the data and uh, relabel them as high or low by adding a new column to the data frame. And so I want to, to apply this in a chained method, but I'll first demonstrate how these work. So if we say get nth, and wrap it in our data frame and we want to do it on the on column B and we want to compute the uh, third order. We could do this and we have three uh, to the third goes to 27, two to the third goes to eight, so on and so forth. And we have this new column. And so this is a very traditional way for building methods. We could take this data frame which has now been overridden and run our other method, get discrete vowels on it. So let's say get discrete vowels, we wrap DF and we want to pass in column A. And now we've added a new column to our data frame where these first um, you are considered high, these others are considered low, etc. cetera. Um, however, if we want to pipe these or chain these together, we could use the pipe method so let me read, uh, you know, run this again. I'll just copy this down here and show you the, the way the pipe method works. And so if we have our DF, we can say uh, dot pipe and pass in our method. So let's say we want to run get the nth and uh, we don't need to pass in the data frame. We just pass in the other variables. Um, just as is, so we would just pass in column A this time, and let's say we want to take the square root of each value. We could then pass in the next uh, method by piping that again, and we can call get discrete vowels. And let's say we want to do that also for column A. Um, we could run both of these together. And we've, we've changed these in the same way we demonstrated in the other video and in a very efficient way. And so this is good for when you have functions or methods, methods you can't find and you want to build and apply them to a specific data frame or data series. You can use this pipe method from the pandas module to do that very efficiently. If this video was helpful, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Did you notice I switched the labels here? Wanted to see who caught that. Peace.